Hey, welcome back to setting up a REST API using a men stack. In the previous video, we were able to query our database to list all users and to get a single user for our GET request. Before we start, if you're new to the channel, I post up tutorials, tips and tricks for web development, especially for developers that are just getting started. If that's the sort of content you're interested in, please do subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or requests, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always open or new suggestions for content. Let's take a look at how we can make changes to our users. The first thing we need to do is make a change to our route in our update. And what we'll do here is we'll create an update user or change this to update. And we'll need to change this in our controller or add this to our controller. This, this will be our update. So we're Three quarters of the way through our CRUD. Now what we need to do is, oh, let's make this update user. And over here, we are using the patch method here. What we'll do is we'll have our query and we'll do use, and what we'll do here is we'll change it to find by ID and update. We'll send in We'll do a request param ID. And what we'll need to do here is also need. And here. And here I'll do set rec dot body. Okay, so I'm gonna pass along our body to our to this method and it's just gonna update it with that. We'll have to add one more for options here because the find by ID update will by default send you the data from when it found it and not from when it's updated. We need to do new, true, and this will send us back our data for the updated. Now let me comment this out first just so we can see it. I'll do this after and I'll add it. And I think all the rest of it can stay the same. Go to Insomnia and go to Patch. And here, go and grab our ID. Uh, let's update this Pikachu one. We'll go to our patch. And this will be our ID, or this is our endpoint. So we're passing along the ID after the slash user. And here, we can do Pikachu. What was our data here? Electric Mon. It's on Ash's shoulder. If I do this and send it. Oh yeah, I need to start the server. NPM run start. Successfully access connected to DB. Send it again. That's updated. Now let's do Pikachu or Monster. It's updated, but it sent us only the data of when it first queried it. If I send this again, it's going to be Electric Monster because it's already been updated, but it's giving us the data before it's updated. If I go ahead and put that back, so it's going to send us a new true. If I do electric monster, it'll give us the document or the user with the updated data. Now let's go and change this. So since we're using a patch, using patch, it should only update one of the fields. So I'm going to do Pikachu 2. And it's only updated that. It didn't purge out this data. So if I did this, I only sent um, bio, that's get changed. And Pikachu 2 and Monster 2 um, also doesn't change. Okay, so if I send that back. So that's how you update for the REST API using patch for the update part for CRUD. Okay, it's very similar to what we were doing for our find. We basically just change this find by ID and find by ID and update. Yeah, that should be it 
for that. And in the next video, we'll take a look at how to delete to finalize the CRUD. So I'll talk to you guys hopefully in the next video. Hey, if you've gotten this far, thanks for the support. This will help the channel grow. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to click the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. To stay updated with the latest content from the channel, you can subscribe by clicking right here in the middle.